Hello everybody, it's, it's, I'm here back again for part 11 of my history series on the history of the Canadian military. Um, tonight, well this edition part, we'll be talking more about the Vietnam, Vietnam War, uh, Canadian troops. A lot of people do not realize Canes actually have served in Vietnam. Um, uh, I'm on the CBC website right now. I'm right now and uh there's a little clip on here from Lester B. Pearson, his speaker. It's about two minutes and thirteen seconds long. Um I will actually put this uh, um in the sidebar for everybody to if you want to check it out. It's broadcast original broadcast broadcast date for this clip was July 29th, nineteen fifty four. Uh, yeah, the clip is very poor audio, but here's a little, little uh, blurb on the CBC website about this. Uh, Vietnam may have been America's war, but Canada was heavily involved for and against. Canada harbored American draft dodgers and helped supervise ceasefires. But at the same time, about 30,000 Canadians volunteered to fight in Southeast Asia, and there was Can there was Canadian Canada's involvement in secret missions, weapons testing, and arms production. The CBC archives look at looks at the Canada's role in the Vietnam War. Um, okay, well, let's talk about the Vietnam. What really happened there is uh, overall it was a very costly campaign for the Americans. They lost 58,000 troops approximately. Uh, but it was just as costly for the Vietnamese and the, Chi and the Russians at the same time. The Russians were helping the, the North Vietnamese. Um, well, I know a lot. Of, a lot of people have probably seen the war. We were soldiers. Uh, we were soldiers. I read the book We Were Soldiers Once Young by Halmore and. Uh, Mr. Galloway there, Joe Galloway. You can see many videos from General Moore and Joseph Galloway, Joe Galloway, here on YouTube. Um, here, here's some interesting facts with the Vietnam War. This is more American-wise, but Vietnam War was the longest war in U.S. history, lasting approximately 11 years, from 1963 to about I said 1973 to 74, 75. It really depends on who you go for. Um, while the U.S. Congress never officially declared war of North Vietnam, the D Gulf of Tonkin, Tonkin Resolution passed on August 7, 1964, is considered the beginning of the Vietnam War. While later the, in 65, November 65, we had the Ia Durang battle, the first battle of the Ia Durang. It's basically the, what part of the movie is based on that in that couple of weeks. In the book, it's book the movie is based on. It's pretty good. Uh, it covers a lot of stuff you don't the movie didn't go into. But yeah, it, it's a very, Vietnam War is a very interesting conf war or conflict. Um, a lot of guerrilla warfare. And there's, a, I'll talk a bit about each of them in their own light. Each, some individual characters from the war, person, that, people that were involved. Um, uh, President Lee Johnson requested this resolution against North Vietnam, North Vietnam after North Vietnamese torpedo boats attacked a U.S. destroyer in the Gulf of Tonkin. The war ended on April 30th, 1975. When Saigon fell to the North Vietnamese, yeah, yeah. it was bound to happen, um, but it was a losing conflict. Losing. The roots of the conflict go mu go, go back much further than. From 1946 to 54, the Vietnamese resisted French efforts to regain the colonies they abandoned during World War II. Known as the French Indochina War, 
This conflict came to an end with the signing of the Geneva Treaty in July 15, 1954. The treaty temporarily divided Vietnam into the north and south along the 17th parallel, and was to be followed by free elections and reunification within two years. Backed by the U.S., South Vietnam refused to negotiate with the Communist North Vietnam over the elections because they feared the Communist government would be voted in. The elections were never held, and the resulting escalation hostilities developed into the Vietnam War. Vietnam remained divided into two nations until July 76 when they merged to form the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, more commonly known as Vietnam. The International Control Commission was made up of members of, from Can Canada, Poland, and India. Hmm, I didn't know that one actually. Canada served as a member of the ICC for 18 years. In 1973, Canada was asked to serve on a similar body. International Commission of Control and Supervision, ICCS, along with Hungary, Indo Indonesia, and Poland. Lester B. Pearson was Minister of External Affairs from 1948 to 57 and Prime Minister from 63 to 68. In April 1965, he made a speech at the Temple University, at Temple University in Philadelphia suggesting the United States halt the bombing of North Vietnam. Oh, great. That's why the Americans lost the war. Canadian got Bishop Pearson got involved. Uh, nothing against the man personally. Uh, there's a lot of things. A lot of people I've talked to in the Vietnam War. A lot of the guys that were there uh, in Vietnam, like were Vietnamese citizens, um, they grew up in Vietnam. They said this to me the one time: if the 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 U.S. nearly had, were on the verge of having North Vietnam collapse. Uh, they continued their bombing campaign, Roll, Operation Rolling Thunder, or Operation Linebacker, I forget which one, exactly what it was exactly, but the, the Operation Rolling Thunder or Operation Linebacker, one of the two. Um, <coughs> Pearson was the only head of government in any Western country to denounce the bombing. Paul Martin Sr. was the Minister of External Affairs from 63 to 68. He was succeeded by Mitchell Sharp, who filled the post from 68 to 74. You know, China refers to the nations of Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. The Indo China War is the 29 year war waged in the area, generally broken up into four phases. The French Indochina War from 1946 to 1954, the Vietnam Civil War between 1954-1964, Vietnam War 1964-1973, to the conquest of South Vietnam 73-75. to um, Yeah, it's always interesting to find new information on the Vietnam War, uh, Canada's involvements, involvement. It's always amazing. Uh, a lot of people do not realize Canadians served in Vietnam. Uh, I personally know a few members, a few people that served Canadians that served Vietnam. Um, so I mean, it's always interesting to know and to get their story out there. It's what needs to be done. Uh, they're veterans, deserve the respect. I find it really appalling what the treatment a lot of these Vietnam vets got got when they got home. I like what we do with the our, the men and women that. Are returning from like Afghanistan or Iraq right now. Um, they're not baby killers. Stuff happens. It's war. War. In war, things are happen for just happen. You can't deal. You have to deal with it. I mean, it sucks. You know, when innocent civilians get killed, but that's the way of life. And that's war for you. Well, this is the section on Vietnam. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you guys have a great night, great day, whatever time it is, where you are, right, watch this movie, this clip. So, this is part 11 of the Canadian Military History Series. Thank you and have a great day.